Thanks for checking out Mitch's Mutts here at 1051thebuzz.com here with Jordan from the Oregon yeah. Humane Society and a very special puppy named Bruno. Bruno indeed. Yeah. And for this puppy, Jordan, we're talking to a very, very special Buzz listener. We need somebody to come through and help us find a loving home for this sweet little angel because he's going to need a little extra help, to be frank. Yes, indeed. Yeah, Bruno was transferred to us from another shelter. Um, he was born both blind and deaf. He has what's called small eye. His eyes were born a little too small for his skull. So they grew a little deformed, so he can't see, can't hear. Uh, so we're hoping he goes home with another dog and a family that has a lot of time to sort of give him the attention that he needs. And explain how that other dog is going to help him, because he does have still a very strong sense of smell, which is probably dog's most acute sense, I would guess. Indeed, yes. Yeah. So that's great. He can find directionally, he can work a little bit, but he needs somebody to follow. He also just needs that, that support, that moral support in the home. Um, he just doesn't like being left alone because the world seems probably a scary, dark place all alone. So he needs somebody that's there to kind of guide him, can help him with his house trading, can follow that dog maybe outside into the yard okay. or out when you're on a walk, has that other dog there for support. What a little lover. Let's have a look at his little face. Oh, my goodness. What a sweet little boy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, now, if you think you have it in your heart, too, it's going to be a lot of extra work, obviously. A, a dog yes, who's blind much. and deaf uh, is going to need an awful lot of attention. It's not going to be the right dog for somebody who's at work eight or nine hours a day. Exactly. It'd be great for somebody who works from home or somebody who doesn't work at all. Uh, somebody who's independently wealthy, that would be fantastic. That, that, would, that what, would probably what, but, fulfill his needs. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I guess there are behavioral uh, tra training sessions that we can do with the yes. Humane Society. Oh, our trainers would love and they'd you know, be willing to work with anybody that needed extra follow-up attention and care as far as how do we go ahead and, and guide this dog to be a proper canine family member in the home. Because you're not going to find a book on how to train a blind and deaf dog, I'm sure. No, not likely. No. Okay. Yeah. He's a little kisser and a little bit of a chewer. It kind of He's feels good. He's very much of a chewer, yeah. <laughs> All right, Jordan, is he at the main shelter? He is at the main shelter up in uh, North Portland on Columbia Boulevard. All right, perfect. Uh, boy, pass the word around. We've got to find a home for little little Bruno. He's still a puppy. He's uh, nine weeks old, two and a half months, He's you said? about two and a half months, yeah. Okay, all right. If I let him go, he'll be available for adoption right uh, away. Uh, he has not been neutered yet, I'm assuming. Uh, he was neutered just a couple days ago, so he's okay, cool. all set to go to that perfect family. Neutered, microchip, checked out by the vets. He just needs a very, very special loving home. Uh, if you want to find more information about Bruno, hop on OregonHumane.org, click on Adopt Dogs and Puppies, and you'll find Big Bad Bruno under the b -b 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 bees. Thanks, Jordan. Thank you so much. Yeah. You're a sweetie. Mwah. Thanks for checking out Mitch's Mutts here at 1051thebuzz.com.